Hey guys, welcome back to the Cooking Company, and today I'm reviewing another cool figure from a cool movie that, or not movie, TV show, that once again I waited until it's like almost over in the seasons, and then I watched the whole uh, AMC, which I'm gonna call it, when they do, they show like all the shows, the whole season all in a row. We call it marathon or whatever and that's how I get into these shows because you know what I can't wait for one show every week and then there's like a hiatus until the next season I just can't take it in my heart you know so this one is Breaking Bad Heisenberg collectible figure I don't know why I got this at Toys R Us this should not be sold there Toys R Us is a family store lots of little kids There's Thomas the Train and all that why are they selling methamphetamine all right, Heisenberg includes gym bag with money, hat, and glasses. Also look for the bobblehead and plush toys. <laughs> it looks so weird. And there's so much money. So much money. Oh, gonna open it up. Age is 15 plus. Really? Really? There is your duffel bag of monies. There is the man of the hour. And this, you can't see it through the packaging except through the side. It's a little bag of meth, blue meth. 99.3% pure or whatever. <laughs> oh, and it's open. Whoa, someone was stealing some out of there. Ho oh, ho. So let's look at the figure. Okay, well, let's start with the hat. It's removable. Let me take off his face mask. And there's his nice bald head, nice and wrinkly forehead. Let's take off the glasses. Removable. Ah, there are those bright eyes. Wow, that's a lot of detail in the face. Looks really good, you guys. Little got even got wrinkles on the the neck area. You can see like a little bit of hair, just like slightly dusted. That is awesome. Does it move at all? Doesn't feel like it. This is a very heavy figure. Let's put that back on. Alright, fits perfectly in the hat. Alright, now he's Heisenberg. And I'm trying to move the arms here and they're not budging at all. Jacket, very stiff. Although it is a little bit bendy, but it's not meant to be bendy. I'm just bending it because it's the corner, and if I bend anymore, it'll just fall right off. Look at the detail on those buttons. No waist articulation whatsoever. Pants. Shoes. No articulation, but still highly uh, detailed. Like, very nice. Oh, Right here, he's got a gun in his hand, of course. <laughs> it's little. And uh, you can even see some skin tone color creeping up onto the gun. That's all right. <laughs> and his fingers on the trigger. Everything. Kind of feels like the material from like, kind of like the uh, Star Trek figures. The nice hard material. In the back, what's that? There's like a little line of shine right there. I don't know what that is. It probably just rubbed off some paint or whatever. So there's the back of the jacket. What is that? Just a detail on the jacket, probably. Or mistake, who knows. And he's got a line on his head. What is that? Uh huh. So that's what that is. The hat left a mark on his head. Oh my god. So let's look at his bag of money. Duffel bag. It's got a lot of money. Who knows how much is in there? The 
this is not really bendy. It's kind of bendy down here. And this one is definitely bendy. The large, the long strap. Let's see and hold it. There we go. So, holds it very easily. And of course the bag of meth, which we already saw. It's just like gel. Can't really see any crystals. I tuck it in there. Or not. <laughs> So this is nice, very, it's not, it, it's a horrible action figure seeing as how it's not an action figure, it's just a statue. Oh, almost had it, oh well. But if you're just fans of the show, awesome.